Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Is that a proper intro? Today we are here with a Q&A with my sisters and I had added a Q&A on Instagram asking if you guys have any questions that you would like to ask my ask me and my sisters we'd like to answer. They'll join me in quite some time but I'm super super excited and give you a clear introduction of our names, of our age, where we come from, what we do and everything. So let's begin. <laughs> After finally deciding to yeah, place the clip of me sitting there first. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody! So, um, finally my sisters are in. We'll just give you guys the introduction. My name is Rudha Tarana. Rudha Tamanna. Zoya. Yes. So we do have different surnames. Uh, our father decided to experiment. And we're glad it's that way. <laughs> so, we have different second names. Uh, in the meantime, another quick question is the clip we've added previously of Huda sitting here just proves how beautiful she is. And this doesn't do justice. <laughs> One of them is about the name. We don't know why we have different second surnames, but we're glad we do have them. Uh, imagine just Rudha Tarana, Huda Tarana, Zoya Tarana. <laughs> but now it sounds Rudha Tarana, Huda Tamanna, and Zoya Afreen. We are so a brand by ourselves. <laughs> now, so the first question is how strong is your bond and how much do you love? Them. Uh, I think most of you guys have seen Huda and you guys think Huda is the only one. We have four, we're three girls. I'm the I'm the elder one and she's not the elder one. And then it's her and then it's Zoya. I'm 23. I'm 22. 20. Yeah, so Zane is four and a half. Yeah, four and a half ish. It's about a bond. I'm not gonna say that you know we we were like those fighting sisters who would wanna kill each other. We still do. But in the meantime, it's more of like we we've, we've had a better bond growing up. We've realized each other, we've gotten each other's back no matter what. So we'll just ask them how is it and we'll go with it. Yeah, for me personally, I can say my only best friend. <laughs> Friends. <coughs> Sorry, Zoya. <laughs> no, until I mean, I was in Kool and Didi was in Bangalore, so I was my only best friend. I came to Bangalore with Didi now. So she keeps changing her friends. <laughs> Never constant. See, that's that's the perk of being the middle child. You get best of both worlds. <laughs> and Zoya, about the bond. Mm, we share the best bond. Actually, I stay alone in Kool. You seem to be back here by six months. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna have a lot of trauma after six months. So we'll catch up on that as well. Is she your cousin? No, these are not my cousins. They are my sisters. You don't see the resemblance? Yeah, I mean, I mean, practically look similar. But yes. Going to the next questions is your BTS bias. Mine is V. Jungkook! Yungi. Oh. <laughs> About our profession, I think the question is what Zoya is studying, so we'll just give you guys a quick clarity. Uh, I just finished my graduation BSc Biotech. I wanted to do my masters, I still do, but I'm saving up for that. And now I'm a freelancer. I am a professional MC, I'm a model, I also run a small thrift store, I take workshops and I'm a content creator. I graduated... Uh... <laughs> I graduated from yeah, college from Kurg. I did my bachelor's in business administration. I am now working at Goldman Sachs as a specialist. Yeah. I'm currently pursuing my final year degree, BBA. Okay. When did you pierce your nose? And why did you do that to yourself? <laughs> That's a serious question. Okay. I two years I just did it because I like it. One of the questions was, I love the ring that you bought for Zoya. Yes, I've bought rings for both of them. This is the one she bought me. This is the one she bought Zoya. And she bought one for herself. She bought diamonds for herself. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like a gift for me because we were about to hit 500k. So I had to get it there and I was like, you know what? Let's manifest that while getting a ring. The fact that you three are always for each other is so pure. Yes, so we might want to kill each other, but we wouldn't <laughs> allow anybody else to do that. We've always had this bond. Like even while we were growing up, we would pull each other's hair out. But if it was, if we had any such, you know, circumstance or anything, we'd stand for each other. Like our parents would know for a fact they could not come and ask us anything. <laughs> they like, couldn't. Did, did she do that? Share. Yeah. Did she do that? We're like, no. I mean, we saw, saw her do it. <laughs> not saw her. Probably even helped her do it but did she do that no ways do you think didi would do that <laughs> no 
So when did I meet them for the first time? 18th of Jan and 26th of October 2000. 2001. 2001. <laughs> how, how often do you guys meet? Whenever she has off, she comes and she does visit us. And Huda, on the other hand, lives with me, which is annoying her for yeah, a lot to take <laughs> because I've things. lived my by myself for four years and now having somebody. Take it's my been a piece. year. She had gotten used to it. God knows what happened all of a sudden. <laughs> I did not click some good pictures of her, and that threw her off. I can't live with people who can't click, click good pictures of me. It's like a deal. <laughs> okay, how to make sisters bond strong, just like you guys? Have parents <clears throat> who give you trauma. <laughs> An older sister, I realized that the only way I can build a very good bond with them is to give them the freedom to experiment. In the meantime, also the freedom to come speak to me when they have issues. So if I'm very controlling or if I'm very judgmental, they wouldn't really want to share things. And um, it's not that I'm not at times, I do. But in the meantime, I also realize that, okay, I should go ahead and apologize and stuff like that. But I think it's the key of understanding and conversations and communication. I was a person who was very insecure, who had a lot of anxiety and all that. A lot of my personality building happened because she gave me space. Like to, honestly, for for somebody who's really insecure and always questioning themselves, to have that space means a lot. And honestly, you know, every time I think about it, makes me so thankful. So if you just let them be, you know, just let them grow in their space. She let me do that. You know, we, we used to go out to new places, and I was like really anxious about what to do. And she wouldn't tell me whether you're doing that wrong, doing this right, or anything. She just let me, and is like, you know, what you do it for yourself. And the confidence that gave me, and the fact that I. Could could grow there <laughs> ah, forever thankful for that thing. you as an elder sister has certain experiences talking about those experiences is definitely the key they will listen to you but telling them that hey this is my experience of how you can't do that is just going to put them in the box let them let them know that you know what's right or wrong but they also have to live and experience things for themselves always for me it's like i'm gonna be there for you guys i'll, I'll be the shield i mean i don't have that but i'll be there so even if you guys are falling Know for a fact that I'll hold you guys. So go ahead, experiment, explore, fail, cry, and win. Who are you more closer to, Huda or Zoya? No one. I'm only closer to myself. But people know. <laughs> no. <laughs> I do not want to be Whoa. close to somebody who doesn't even click pictures well. But you are. Just because I'm fun. <laughs> okay, who annoys you the most? <clears throat> <laughs> and she gets on my nerves more than I get on her nerves. She's literally projecting all her life's trauma on me at this point. Okay. What is the most dumbest reason you fought with your sister? Because I can't click good pictures of her. Am I a professional photographer? I am no. not even asking you for professional know. pictures, alright? I can't, I do what I can. Like, what is the point? Her coming and can't even do this much. So the least I'm asking you is to click such pictures of me. Okay. Like out of my expertise. Do you guys know that I click such amazing pictures of profile? Yes, what I did. But I'm not. Don't trust it. <laughs> you have the phone. I'm asking you to click just one good picture. She's just gonna be like, yeah. This is exactly how she is. What are your to-do list when you guys are together? Eat, sleep, repeat. <laughs> so yeah, with Zoya is like if she's in town, we try to go out because she doesn't really get to go out as she's back home. Uh, we feed her with whatever it is and whatever she wants. But if we are home, we are like she's in Already. her room, I am in my room. <laughs> <laughs> I cook at least. She's a junkie. Actually, I and my sister have similar thoughts when fighting with fam. But uh, you know, when we fight, like every time we talk with the family. I don't go home for that reason. <laughs> she fights, my father's afraid of her. <laughs> so I'm the one who's mostly like asking questions of like, how did you say that? Why did you say that? Yeah, so my father's not afraid, but he doesn't like, really want to put out anything. Yet. Like share it with me. Are you two twins? No way triplets. What's your mom's reaction when you first told her that you wanted to study in Bangalore? No. Good students can study anywhere. Is she your elder sister? This one? Is I might look old, but I'm not. <laughs> Question to Zoya How is Rida at home? Especially good to me. I don't know why, but she's good to me. <laughs> What's the age gap? I'm 23, she's 22, and she's 20. Who's your inspiration? That means it's me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. If your if your answer to anything is myself, then you know it's me. And your inspiration. Myself. You. <laughs> friends. Yeah. Your best friends. Hello. 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 Hello.
Do you guys fight? Because I do every time with my siblings. We don't fight. She just shouts at me. I shut up and listen. <laughs> yeah. He used to fight. <laughs> Huda and Zoya, choose me. Choose. No. Okay. Do you, do both you fight, fight and who says sorry first? first? <laughs> like I said, they don't fight. She shouts at me. I shut up and make puppy faces. She'll come and say sorry after that. <laughs> I don't say sorry. I'm just like she does. She comes. I'm with scared. Me. Me. What if the last <laughs> next time I would know is the person's name did? <laughs> I don't know. Run. A hospital errand. Who is Zoya? Zoya. That's a serious question. <laughs> is Zoya? Zoya is my uh, own lost, sister. Lost and found own, sister. Own. Exactly. She is. She is the adopted one. You see the similarities, but there it's different. Who was born first among you guys? I didn't want to. <laughs> trust me. I was pushed into this world. Not oh, happy at all. <laughs> What K dramas are we watching? So we are all actually into K dramas big time. And I just finished Our Love Summer. So with me, uh, I watch one K drama, then I sulk in it. I watch their fan edits, then I watch their history, then I watch their boyfriends, girlfriends, family, where they live, what they do, everything. So it takes a lot to go to the next drama. Buddha is watching Hometown Cha Cha Cha. Zoya is watching Mr. Queen. Queen. Oh, how do you guys look so pretty? Manufacturing effect. Minding, <laughs> minding our own business. <laughs> what is the one thing that irritates you the most? So I would really like to invest some time in cooking instead of ordering food every now and then. It's very irritating. When no. I order food, who else orders food? Okay, what's irritating for you? Irritating for me when I want to talk to her, but she literally scolds me. Mm. Somebody is relying her. Everything's about me. <laughs> <laughs> who is more understanding? Bitch, please. <laughs> then who? Me. Oh. <laughs> Have I ever scolded them? Yes. <laughs> so it's very. It's not a very hard that I get angry, but I get annoyed very, very soon. And it pisses me off big time. And I'm literally trying to not do anything or say anything that will hurt them. But they do stuff which is so irritating and so annoying that I'm sorry. I have to. Do the big girl. Oh, who's your favorite influencer? Rudha Tharana. Thank you. Who's your favorite? Rudha Tharana. My apni favorite. <laughs> When um, are you getting married? Now that's what we are talking about. Oh, Rudha is mostly the. Yeah. So I am not getting married anytime soon, but probably Rudha will be the first one to get married, followed by Zoya, and then I'll be the rich aunt with a lot of money, throwing. Um, no, like she's Kanju says. Oh my God! Both of these people have fucking gold rings on their hands, and then she has the audacity to say Kanju. <laughs> But you don't do this. <laughs> that I don't do. Why would I do that? I lost this question. What's the earliest memory you have of both of us? So we ha- we used to live in the old house, right? Our old house in the middle of the estate, um, and I remember very very clearly that oh, patte ka jhade yada hai. So we had this bush. Like a small bush with um, it, it was a shrub, I guess. But the big, big, big. So it was like, as I remember, when you were chipping, like, when you were chipping, like, you know. You remember? Yeah. Uh, so it's like that. So supporting a child, my head is getting chipped. When they get it, they get pulled. Then pulled again. Then after that, they cut it. Then they cut it. So it was there. I'm sitting there with uh, the leaves as vegetables, and uh, you are on the cycle, and she's supposed to come. Uh, yeah, she's supposed to come collect the vegetables from me. And this very distinct. Uh, we had tiny beads. And I used to make those uh, ornaments out of it, man, with putting them in threads and everything. And she would wear it because she is the queen, and he's the king, and I would be like the vendor. And then we would s- switch roles. So yeah, that's I don't know why I, I distinctly remember that very well. So we had uh-huh. these paddy fields, paddy fields, and uh, during like just right before the harvest season, it you know it's all grassy on the sides, and uh, especially that dragonfly like season. Oh my god yeah. yes and i remember didi sitting there plucking used to used to make bouquets out of the wild flowers she used to sit there and make bouquets and sing to those insects and <laughs> <laughs> so i was just and looking at this girl like is she okay <laughs> oh also like, because remember we <laughs> had to get to the i was uh, i was a performer a content creator back then my audience were <laughs> fireflies and insects <laughs> but you guys should know i was true to it fireflies also in the night the <laughs> entire was got a firefly which was a caterpillar oh my god <laughs> you're so big so this is like in the fields in the night it's very rare though but if the entire field would be filled with fireflies and we would take these tiny jars to hold them in and kill them because obviously they are in the jars but 
it's like another memory. What about you? No, for Zoya, I have a memory wherein you know she's wearing that red shorts and a green and yellow top, and her stomach is out, and she's holding a <laughs> cup, and she's crying. <laughs> and I remember how she's crying. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I remember her crying. Of whom do you like the most? Like you're attached to. We're all attached to each other yeah, in different, in different ways. ways. Oppa, Orisana, Chinchai. What are the type of issues you guys often face? With Zoya, it's boyfriend issues. Didi, it's bitch. You don't know anything to do issues. With Khuda, it is. Can I wear this just once? One issue. <laughs> what if you see your younger sister falling for a wrong guy, but she's not listening to you? They've been through this. We let them fall. <laughs> they fall, bring no, their bones, <laughs> and then stand up. I told you. Who is the most loved by the parents among you three? How to manage anger issues? Kill the person who ever caused you anger. <laughs> If I go missing, you know. Is Rida mischievous, bubbly girl or a calm and collected? Mischievous girl. Rida lives in her own world. <laughs> Rida has a lot of her own fucking stuff to deal with. And if she's out of it, she's really nice, amazing, and oh. all that. But mostly, she's there. <laughs> she's existing. She's surviving. I mean, can you tell how to get along well with sister? My sister's always annoying. Put your sister up for adoption. <laughs> okay. What do you do in your free times? I like to take uh, naps and watch movies. I watch series. Just series. I sleep for 16 hours a day. <laughs> so I don't have any free time. How do you guys spend time together? We have various different ways because she's working, I'm working. Uh, so when she comes, we try to give her some break and let her watch what she wants. But she also is somebody who's like, okay, I'm here, so let me just cook some good food for you. We try to eat together, we watch some movies together, we go me. out, um, and we're just talking at times about our childhood, about what's happening. So yeah, it's a nice relationship at the end of the day. Do you all fight or have crazy time more? We have. Crazy, crazy times, times more. more than fighting. I mean, this point in time we matured enough to know that even if we fight, it comes to an end. Do you guys eat? Why? Why would we? Like, how disrespectful is? Why would we eat? <laughs> I only breathe oxygen. It kind of provides me. Oh no, I do that in limit too because I don't want to grow fat. <laughs> More than um, scrolling through Instagram, I think what Huda does is scroll through Zomato and Swiggy. <laughs> uh, Zoya, since you be with your parents and Rida is here, if Rida gets any hate or rumors, how do you tackle? I sit and wait. I can't do anything else. <laughs> Bro, staying here, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> you guys have to be a little considerate and not give hate. That's all. <laughs> Just I feel bad. That's all. Nothing else. Okay, I guess. <laughs> I guess we don't have any more questions that we would like to ask. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Maybe, maybe we could come up with more videos as such. I actually wanted to, you know, get the spicy ramen and do that while we were eating. <laughs> oh, that's too spicy. Yes, but anyway, we've come to an another amazing video. Thank you so much for joining in once again. Uh, these are my beautiful, amazing sisters who have been with me from from the very beginning, still with me, and will be there until the very end. But uh, I think it's the whole point of how you would like to build a relationship with your sister and with your family. At the end of the day, you need to realize that they have their own life. They have their own mental health issues and traumas that they're dealing with. So more easy you go on them is more try and relate to you and want to convey and have a conversation with you. So be nice, be kind, but have fun. You're your sisters, you know. <laughs> and until then, sayonara. This is Neela Tarana signing, signing off. off. I love you guys. <laughs>